Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal, and in today's video we got ourselves a major overhaul coming to Dragonflight and the War Within Dungeons, starting with Season 4 and beyond, as Blizzard is looking to readjust all of the various dungeon difficulties, changing up how Heroics, Normal Dungeons, Mythic Zero Dungeons, and the Mythic Plus Dungeon structure, how all that is going to be changing going forward. This massive revamp is looking to recalibrate the core difficulties to create a better player experience and a sense of progression within smaller dungeon content, while allowing Mythic Plus players exactly what they want out of the next season for season 4, but also to expand the content to all of the players who don't enjoy the timer aspect of Mythic Plus, or especially the Mythic Plus affix system, but still crave that meaningful dungeon progression. Overall, they're looking to create a better environment that allows players to get more interested into M plus content with a more steady difficulty increase. This update also gave us a bit of a glimpse as to how the different rewards are going to be changing within Season 4, as well as some of the item loads we'll be able to achieve with this upcoming update. But some of the more difficult dungeons are looking to drop players 522 item level items, which is a pretty big drastic jump for the current item level we have in Season 3. So in today's video, I wanted to go over this entire dungeon rich structure system that's coming to season 4 and is going to continue on into the War Within expansion by going over all of the changes to normal, heroic, mythic zero, and mythic plus dungeons, as well as some of the different reward structures that are coming with this update. But right before we get into that, most of you guys watching these kind of update videos are still not subscribed. However, the more of you are mind, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell if you're watching these videos anyway. Especially if you want to get more regular content regarding Dragonflight 10.25 or any future updates for patches like 10.26 or the War Within Alpha. Season 4 and the War Within are going to see a bit of a restructuring to all of our dungeons. Currently, there are way too many redundancies when it comes to our overall dungeon structure. This includes normal dungeons, heroic dungeons, mythic zero dungeons, but also the various scaling factors of the mythic plus system. Currently, heroic and even normal dungeons aren't really distinct enough from one another. There's just a slight adjustment in terms of the gear rewards, which are not nearly good enough. Mythic Zero dungeons also lose all of the relevance within a few weeks of a brand new expansion or even a brand new season, and are only kind of useful during the weekly dungeon events. Generally speaking, there's also quite a number of players that want a difficult dungeon experience akin to when a new mega dungeon is released. Many players enjoy that progression aspect of a brand new dungeon without all of the other aspects of Mythic Plus, like the timer or the affix system. This is why Normal, Heroic, Mythic Zero, and Mythic Plus difficulties are all being restructured going forward. Besides this, some of the main purposes of this restructure is to recalibrate the core difficulties to create a better player experience in that sense of progression, to give Mythic Plus players exactly what they want out of Season 4, but also to expand that part of the content to players who don't enjoy the timer or the aspects of Mythic Plus specifically while at the same time creating a better environment for players that do want to get better and prepare them better for Mythic Plus in order to have a more steady, difficult increase as you advance into some of the harder content. And for this blue post, they even presented us with a bit of a uh, visual to show what they plan to do with Season 4 and the War Within for Dungeons, where Heroic difficulty as well as the rewards will move up, taking the spot where the original Mythic Plus Dungeons currently hold in Season 3 though there will still be some of those conveniences of Heroic that will go forward into this season. The new Mythic Zero difficulty will move up into the place of the Mythic 8 to 10 range, becoming a hefty bit more challenging to complete, but gaining also much better rewards without subjecting players through the Mythic Plus structure. And the existing Mythic Plus system will then follow after the new Mythic Zero just using a different number system. So to go over exactly the specifics of every single difficulty, normal dungeons in Season 4 will remain unchanged, and these will remain about the same as you can currently experience them in the Season 3. Where we start to see notable differences will be in that heroic difficulty, where all of the mobs and even bosses will hit notably harder than they currently do in the current heroics. The dungeon mechanics are also going to matter a little bit more, but the overall rewards are also going to be increased. These heroic dungeons will not subject players to mythic mechanics all of a sudden, 
but you just might have to pay attention to the current existing heroic mechanics a bit more as the content has got more challenging. Heroics will also retain that aspect of being able to queue for them randomly, so this shouldn't disrupt the pug experience, it'll just make some of the more challenging content with slightly better reward structure. Where we see big differences is in its mythic content, where the tuning is being notably increased. Bosses will have mythic mechanics, and the difficulty of those dungeons will be equivalent to the current plus 10 dungeons of the Season 3. In some sense, if you've played during the initial release of the Dawn of the Infinite Mega Dungeon a couple of patches ago, all of those Mythic Zero dungeons should be just in about that same range of difficulty as the original Mega Dungeon. Though with it being a Mythic Zero dungeon, players will not be subject to Mythic Plus timers, Mythic Plus affixes, or any other Mythic Plus limitations like being able to adjust your spec and even switch out your talents for various bosses. Overall, this should help create a bit more of that original Mega Dungeon-like difficulty and experience for players that want to chase for better rewards, but also looking for this prog-like experience just within 5-man content to make some actually difficult mythic dungeons for players to dive into. And these M0 dungeons will be still on a weekly lockout as they currently are in Season 3. Mythic Plus dungeons will have a bit of a number prune, though without too much of a mechanical change or difficulty change. This means that a plus 2 Mythic Plus dungeon in Season 4 will be equal to plus 11 in the current season when it comes to its overall difficulty. The affixes though will be added at a plus 2, plus 5 and eventually at a plus 10 range, which means that plus 10 dungeons will be basically your new version of the current season's plus 20 dungeons meaning that you won't be seeing all three affixes unless you're doing some of the highest possible rewarding dungeons in the Season 4. And with all these dungeon changes, we also see quite a bit of a restructure to the rewards of that season. And they actually gave us an entire blue post going over some of the different item levels you'll be able to earn in Season 4. Starting with the normal dungeons of the Season 4, which will drop 460 item level gear when defeating any of their bosses. Heroic Dungeons, as they gain a little bit more difficulty, will also drop better gear with a 476 item level from bosses, but also 489 that you can now stock up within the Great Vault. Mythic Zero Dungeons will also see an increased difficulty, but also better rewards, dropping 493 item level from any of the bosses and 506 item level from the Great Vault system. Mythic Plus Dungeons will still have that scaling of the plus 2 to the plus 10, so the higher difficulty you go, the better rewards are going to be. But if let's say you're doing a plus 10, the highest difficulty that can award some of the best gear from that season, plus 10 dungeons will drop you gear at the end of the dungeon of 509 item level quality. But the Great Fault will allow you to earn 522 item level gear, which is going to be some of the best gear that you can get from Mythic Plus content. Flightstones and crests will also be scaled a little bit differently in this new season. Flightstones in particular shouldn't be noticeably different, as in you should still feel like you're earning plenty of those depending on the type of content that you're doing, and they'll kind of scale to the new adjustments to the Heroic and the Mythic Zero to make sure the players are getting plenty of flightstones with these adjustments. When it comes to crests, you'll no longer be able to earn whelpling crests from any of the dungeon content. Those have been offset for open world activity since all of the dungeon difficulty as well as rewards are being scaled upwards. For Mythic Zero bosses, you'll be able to earn 10 Drake Crests per boss that you kill, which should help you upgrade all of the gear that you can earn from M0 content. M plus 2s will start to drop Worm Crests, and plus 6 and above will start to drop Aspect Crests in this new season. And that's going to be the full list of changes coming to Dungeons in Season 4 and beyond. My first impressions to this whole update is actually quite positive. I like the fact that they're trying to make heroic dungeons and even mythic zero dungeons matter a lot more by bringing up the rewards but also the challenges that come with all of those difficulties. And I like the fact that they're trying to make mythic zero in particular matter more when it comes to old gearing and that gearing progression allowing players the taste of some of the more difficult mythic dungeon content without necessarily subjecting a brand new player to the timer or the affix system. But also this change offsets the affixes so you're not really seeing all three affixes present in a dungeon until you're doing some of the highest difficulty content, which I think will make it much easier for newer players to be introduced to that mythic plus system as it gradually adds a bit more difficulty, but also entices you with even better rewards at the end of the dungeon. 
Overall, I think this is an exciting new change and I cannot wait to see how it feels and plays in Season 4. Hopefully we'll be seeing the Season 4 PTR sometime in the near future so we can test all of the changes. But for now, that's going to be the entirety of this dungeon revamp. I want to thank all of you guys so much for watching this video and hope all of you enjoyed. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. As per usual, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single video and live stream, we have a link to our Discord community channel. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video or hang out with the rest of the community to discuss some of the upcoming changes. Join our Discord to become part of the community. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.